there's every day I'm walking there, say fire there. Every day. After you pass the hurricane, they will put a new dump there, say fire. Fire, fire, fire. Every day. Al 20 jaar werkt Mendes bij de dump. Sinds orkaan Irma woont hij er ook. En zijn vrouw is vaak ziek van de rook. After the hurricane, they say living here. Yeah, that's uh, the, the roof remove. That's uh, I put a zing, put the song, I, I, I go inside there. Yeah. But you're not free living close by the dump. Yeah, I'm free by the dump. But I say, I know how to go. Where are you going? I know how to go to way. The buurman, bekend als Ticha, woont al 30 jaar bij de dump. That smoke is a criminal thing. Has somebody from the government been here to talk to you? No, no. The thing is. I had two children, the mother passed away. Last night I woke up 3.30 in the morning, I smelling smoke inside the house. I had to come out quick because I have to protect my children. And the thing look, I still doing the same thing. In any country in the world, it smoke like that, in the, in the capital, the government look at solution quick. But here in San Martin, everything running crazy. We're in Simpson Bay on the other side of the hill, approximately 10 kilometers away if you take the road, maybe eight kilometers if you go to straight to the dump. And we smell it here. You're also wearing a shirt. It says, I survived Irma only to be poisoned by the dump. St. Martin people, like I told you, have always been a little bit quiet and very easygoing. Uh, we tend to procrastinate a little bit and now I think we've had enough. So you can see the hills. They protect slightly that, you know, they, they take it away, but it's still, it's strong enough that it comes right through the lagoon and into our back office. Some people, they have family elsewhere. All my family is here. So it's not like I can say, oh, I sell a business and I move to Holland or Canada or the States. I, I don't want to do that. This is my home.